Welcome back, everybody. It's time for today's Creative Living segment, and we continue cooking with versatile herbs with Chef Lori. Today, she is making some savory meatballs that can be used in many ways, including elevating that meal in a bundle. Hi, Chef Lori here. So, here we are talking about herbs again, only this time I used the parsley and I turned it into meatballs. I love meatballs, they're so great. So, what I did here is I took some chicken. And I took Italian sausage and some parsley and breadcrumbs, the eggs, all those wonderful ingredients, and made meatballs. One of the reasons why I really like these meatballs is because you can use them in so many different ways. So if you make a big batch, you can freeze some, then you have them in the freezer. If you're in a quick hurry after work and you're home and you need something, you can grab some of those out of the freezer. And I'm going to show you some of the ideas of what I like to do with my meatballs, okay? And the other thing I like about them is like I can have a lot of vegetables on the side and just a little bit of meat. So I really like the way that that turns out. Okay, so here we have what's called meal in a bundle. This is something that my mom made growing up and I thought it was like her recipe, but turns out everybody knows how to do that. But it's so delicious. So you can get some um, fresh vegetables. What my mom used quite often was frozen vegetables, okay? And she would um, put those in a bowl along with some potatoes and she would just put some salt and pepper and she would use butter on there. I use olive oil and then put them in a foil package with a little bit of meat and cook them. These in here were actually raw when I put them and I put them on the grill and it took about half hour, 45 minutes for them to be done. So, and that's just a great way. You can save those also. You can freeze them this way. And then you have a meal ready when you're in a hurry again, or you can just eat them that day and enjoy all those wonderful vegetables that are in there, okay? So the other thing I do with meatballs is I make some of them a little bit smaller, and I like a small meatball on my pizza, okay? Again, you see a homemade crust. You could put herbs in there too, but I like to put just little meatballs on there with some cheese and a lot of vegetables, okay? So again, this is a whole wheat crust. It's delicious, and you're getting all those vegetables, and you're getting your little bit of meat in there with the parsley in there. So I really like them. The last thing I like to do with these is sometimes I use spaghetti squash, but now that it's summer, we want to use what's fresh. So I have zucchini and a summer squash, and I'm going to use my spiralizer, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So you have to be careful when you're cooking with this. Um, zucchini cooks really fast when you're doing a spiralizer um, because they're thin and they got a lot of water in them. But I love to saute them, and then I'll take, when they're done, I'll take them off, and I'll put a little pesto on there, and then I'll go ahead. See, wasn't that easy? That's so nice. I'll show you, and then I'm going to blend it here. There's all the nice spiralized ones. So remember, they're really good, and they're easy to cook, and you can put whatever you want with them, but I like the pesto. And again, you just press that on there, and keep it going. And so this is kind of be like your noodle, like you're thinking of spaghetti. You could also put a marinara sauce on there if you wanted to, but I really like the pesto on there, and then I put a few meatballs, warm them up, and there is a very quick, how easy is that? It takes about three minutes to cook the spiralized zucchini and summer squash, and you put them in together, and how beautiful is that? I really like those. So then just saute them a little, and you'll have a really nice meal with a lot of veggies, right, and some meatballs, and you put marinara or pesto on there. So that's how you can use one thing like parsley, make meatballs, and use those meatballs more than one way. They turn out really well, and you'll like them. And I think your family will like them, and you can make all these other wonderful things with that. Have the best day ever. Thank you. The best way to connect with Chef Lori for those recipes is to head to her Facebook page. Just search for Chef Lori Fernandez.